My role within Falsa First Year here, Welcome to West Belfast, is to develop, uh, I suppose, coordinate the development of tourism um, projects, tourism product across West Belfast. Falsa First Year here was set up about 10 years ago um, when local political representatives and community representatives came together and realised that there, were, there was a huge influx of tourists coming to West Belfast and they asked themselves the very uh, sort of real question about how do we develop that influx of tourism to West Belfast for the local economy. Um, there was a guesstimation a number of years ago that 650,000 visitors will come to West Belfast each year. Um, and it was really about how do we extract that visitor spend for the benefit of the local area. Um, and it was about challenging the situation which existed then and still exists um, to a lesser degree to a lesser degree now, wherein visitors will come to West Belfast, they'll take photographs and then they'll leave. Um, so any economic benefit bypasses the local community, bypasses local business and bypasses local organisations and local people essentially. All of the organisations that we work with on a daily basis um, are feeling the, the pinch, um, including ourselves. Um, last year we've been asked to make 10% um, efficiency savings um, and as has a whole range of other groups across the community sector in West Belfast, some more so than, than, than 10%. Um, but the groups, the culture, uh, art groups that we work with, the local tier operators uh, are all feeling the pinch in the sense of their budgets are being cut. Um, a number of funders um, I think are, are using um, the climate and the psyche that exists out there um, to um, impose cuts on local people and local organisations. Um, you know, if our budget's being cut, um, then it's more difficult to achieve um, our objective in terms of making sure that people um, can stay here uh, for as long as they possibly can. And in terms of marketing West Belfast, if we aren't out there marketing West Belfast and if we aren't out there um, shouting and screaming from the rooftops to get people to come here and stay here and spend here, um, then ultimately tourist the, the potential that could accompany tourism is just going to bypass this community. I joined SIP2 because it's an activist based trade union. Um, a number of other unions exist in my opinion out there in, in name and while they're involved in great campaigns, SIP2 to me actually mobilise the resources that they have at their disposal. Mobilise the, they're, they're activists and they and they take pride in calling their members activists and encourage members to be activists as opposed to passive members. So for me, when I was looking at joining a union, SIP2 stood out for me. Not only was it an All-Ireland union, but that my role within it would be an active role as opposed to a passive membership role. I would encourage other people to join SIP2 um, because uh, workers need to be organised, workers need to mobilise and local government um, Government across the board, bosses, whoever else, need to feel the strength of, of the ordinary workforce out there. Um, we've great strength, um, we've a great dynamic um, in West Belfast alone, and if we were able to tap into the huge potential and organise and organise the community through SIP2 and, and through, through the trade union movement, then I think that we'd be in a lot stronger position to resist cuts, to fight cuts, and to ultimately build a better community for, for the future.